Hello, good morning, and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And the news that's dominating all the headlines right now is the statement from the Saudi oil minister where he said that they would quite like to, have, they could potentially quite uh, support $20 a barrel. And that's uh, on the back of all the, uh, the production freezes that they mentioned. Iran had come out earlier on in the day to say that they'd just gotten out of sanctions. They weren't want to have any other restrictions on how, how much oil they can sell. And uh, basically that's put the cat amongst the pigeons now. And oil prices took a massive tumble um, overnight dropping a good number of percentage points and looking like they're beginning to move that a little bit lower again this morning. That had a big massive effect on the um, energy stocks in the US. The Dow had triple digit losses and basically the momentum from the rally that we've had in equities now has just ever so slightly shifted. It's not like we've had a dramatic turnaround, but um, it has put the brakes on uh, some of the best gains that we've seen in a large number of months. So that gives you a bit of a background. Gold's a lot firmer now uh, on the back of that, but it's still a bit of exit. People are still talking about uh, cable, euro dollar, everything else. Uh, but now it's oil again that people are looking at. And the pendulum, one minute everything's all looking good, next minute everything's all looking pretty terrible. And um, there's so much politics involved. And right now, literally one guy speaking um, in, the, in the US can have a big, massive impact. Obviously, when you're the Saudi oil minister, you do have a lot of clout as well, but that's gonna put the brakes on the oil uh, jump that we had there. We're gonna be looking at things from a technical perspective now, starting off with that double bottom on the US 30 as well. Okay, so what this does is gives you a bit of an idea of where we are. So we still have this double bottom right here. We didn't have the follow through completely yesterday. Now, I've slightly redrawn where this uh, potential uh, resistance level is, so it coincides with the 55 period SMA. We had a, we had a failure to break higher yesterday, reversed down. We're off the session low so far this morning. 69% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short, but we really want to break above there. Uh, and uh, we're not actually accelerating too fast this morning. So if this uh, kind of move begins to run out of steam, we can see a slight bit of a retreat back down towards that 21 period SMA as well. Moving on to the UK 100, you can get an idea of the bearish engulfing pattern. We're below the 55 period SMA. Similar aspect, we might begin to see a little bit of a retreat back down towards the 21 period SMA if the rally begin if the rally doesn't follow through with anything of conviction. 67% of CMC markets clients are currently short. The other technicals are rel relatively neutral, and we'll, we still look like we're in a potential downtrend right now. Moving on to the Japan 225, a similar picture. 16.384 is a potential resistance level that's been in play for a number of sessions now. It also coincides with the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are relatively neutral. There's been a bigger bounce right here. Let's have a look at, uh, but clients are almost 50-50. Let's have a look at dollar yen because that's the thing that's really driving the markets. Look at that bounce we've had of 111 spot 61. So uh, the, there has been obviously yen buying interest. It's dropped down to potential support. Um, there's been a bit of short covering there. The question is, is this gonna be a hammer formation? Unlikely. Um, but if we begin to retest this and then break down below it, we could be looking at the next potential support at 110. 64% uh, of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, so they're anticipating a move to the upside, um, but the fundamentals perhaps uh, are, are a little bit on the opposite side of that. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, you'll see that move that we talked about, bearish engulfing pattern uh, following on from Saudi Arabia oil minister's uh, discussions yesterday, breaking back down below that 21 period SMA. Um, we are pretty much doing nothing this morning. It's just completely flat. The other technical is relatively neutral. MACD histogram slowly moving lower. Uh, we've not got the crossover yet, but uh, we could be looking, if, we, if the pressure ramps up, we could be looking at a move back down towards 26 spot 72. Um, we need a bit of a step change for this to go back, back up here. On the back of the oil minister's comments now, uh, it's gonna take something kind of significant to get this back up here. But I think today we do, uh, tomorrow, no, uh, today actually we've got crude oil inventories, but we'll come back to that in a little second. So um, moving on to gold, uh, gold as you can see there, it looks like if this was a symmetrical triangle formation, gold had a big spike yesterday. We've uh, looks like we tried to break higher this morning. It's uh, been pushed back into negative negative territory, which is interesting since it was actually positive for part of the day so far. Um, but obviously we've still got a lot of time to go in today's session. 77% of CMC market clients are currently long. Uh, if you're looking at this from a technical perspective and we've got this breakout and then just a reversal, uh, it does look a bit like a fail breakout at the moment, but uh, we do have the whole day's trading ahead of us to see what happens. Moving on to Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar, uh, unfortunately breaking that little bit lower, back down towards one spot 10, um, getting quite close to 55 period SMA as well, uh, feeling the pressure from the Brett exit. 
Um, people have concerns about the eurozone, with the pound, with the euro, uh, for obvious reasons. And then if we have a quick look at GBP USD to finish things off, you can just see this is the lowest value that uh, GBP has had. Uh, this actually closes below here. Uh, this will be the lowest close that GBP USD has had for the month uh, in decades. Now it has been lower than this, but it's not closed lower than this for some time. If I just go back onto my weekly charts, let's go into monthly charts. Let me get a chance to see that a little bit more clearly. So you can see here, even though it has been lower, it's not closed below this point for a long time, even if you go back as far as these charts will go. Even here, it has been lower, but it's just not closed lower than where we are right now. You can see the tips of these candles. So that would be significant. I can't remember the last, the last time that we've seen a close. Uh, uh, look at this, one, one spot 39. Sterling's getting absolutely smashed right now. And look at it from a, from a technical perspective, in the monthly charts, it's a really ugly candle to have in the monthlies. Um, so do bear that in mind when you're trading this. So let's finish up with the uh, market calendar see what's coming out. Uh, and as I said, I think we do have crude oil uh, weekly petroleum sales. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, moving on, then you have uh, CPI, GDP for uh, sterling. That's going to be important for sterling as well tomorrow. CPI for the Eurozone, durable goods and employment claims. And then obviously Friday, you got uh, consumer confidence for the Eurozone, CPI for Germany, GDP for the US, consumer sentiment for the US, and finishing up with personal income. And we're getting quite close to, uh, to the end of the week. So Monday, uh, we don't have a huge amount. We do have Eurozone CPI as well to round up the day. Well, that's it for me, guys. Uh, not much kind of happening from the fundamentals perspective. But as you can see, lots of cool technical moves to be aware of. Uh, very good luck with your trading. And join me again. Uh, actually, I'm going to be uh, working in a different office for the next couple of days. Uh, so join me again personally on Monday where we can see what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.